Hello, I'm here at the amazing new Hendrix Middle School with Principal Miss Cheryl Riddle. Miss Riddle, recently you guys have received a grant or two from the Educational Foundation and we were hoping that you would just take this opportunity to explain to us about those grants and how they're going to help the students thrive in education. One was uh, written by one of our teachers in science. It was to be able to purchase some really neat scientific uh, materials and equipment. Uh, and you're gonna get a glimpse of that a little bit later on. The other one uh, is from my media specialist uh, who opened our STEM lab. We wanted to make sure that we brought in some uh, STEM activities. So you're gonna get a glimpse in a few minutes of uh, how she has purchased different activities. These students have just thrived in learning some new experiences, hands-on, um, just opportunities. Instead of just the reading and writing and listening skills, they are really working on just application skills. I'm here with Ms. Strader and Ms. Strader has applied for the Educational Foundation grant to help the students with a project called Can Science Save Your Life? Can Science Save Your Life? Um, the grant I wrote for was for several different items, one being the Van de Graaff, one being the Wave Apparatus, Gas Laws Apparatus, and then some Acid and Bases kits. At the end of the year, the students are asked to survive a desert island situation, so the name of the project is Can Science Save Your Life? And within that project, they have to desalinate water using specific tools that aren't, aren't very technical, but something you might encounter, um, and using their knowledge from electricity and magnetism to show that the water is actually fresh. Um, their, their knowledge from mixtures, acids and bases, that they also have like fresh water. Okay, and just like how um, basically the natural surroundings are working with them through chemistry and so how they could actually survive a true situation from what they've learned in eighth grade science. I am with Miss Hall, who is the media specialist yes. at Hendrix, and she's gonna to talk to us a little bit about the tiny home project that you are facilitating and instructing for the students that are behind us. The materials we purchased through this grant spark joy in our students and they're excited to come in here, they're excited to use their hands, they're thinking, um, they are having that academic discourse with one another and they're discovering, they're learning, it provides choice and uh, it's just fun to see the students use the media center as an outlet, as a way to um, build and design and use their hands and think and even though a makerspace is technology based they're not on a device doing all this they are still going back to creating yeah you bring up a really neat concept that when students thrive they enjoy and that's a really neat connection 